In three, two, one, go! On the bottom we've got Salami playing in blue as Cartel. And in the north east side, all the way on the other side of this humongous map, we have Maze playing as the green US Army. Yeah, our favorite map. <clears throat> <laughs> I so dislike this map. Um, I haven't played this map against or with Cartel, but do you think this map favors Cartel or favors USA in this matchup? Um, I think it favors Quartel quite a bit. If you get like uh, an early um, barracks projection, which is the upgrade that allows you to build a barracks everywhere, you can have easy control over both banks in the middle. Is the investment and worth it? It is. I think it is. Because you can get upgraded with a healing station and then you can build an artillery turret next to your barracks. So you can pretty much take control of the banks completely. It will take a lot of effort from uh, the other player to deny those banks and as a cartel player you don't necessarily have to build those um, outposts so you, with the fast collectors with the cheap collectors it's very easy for salami as cartel to expand quite heavily especially on this uh, large oil field which you can see on the middle of the map on those plateaus yeah well i think those oil fields in the middle are interesting but i would love to see a third oil field more near your base. I mean, two oil fields is not enough to build a decent army, it's just good enough to get you started. So I would prefer if this map get a third oil field nearby. Yep. Well, um, you know, what most players do on this map is get two refineries on oil, just to get you started pretty quickly. Yeah, but still then you need to go on. Uh, be all aggressive early on and stuff. It kind of dictates you have to play that way and win early game or you lose entirely. I mean, of course, there's something positive about that, but I, I don't know, this map is just not that good at all. Oh, and he built a stinger! Maze MVP right here, he built a stinger from his uh, barracks, shut down the resource collector from Salami, and that is gonna hurt quite a bit, because he went straight over. The only thing he knows is that there's oil in the middle. He might not even know about the oil just north of him. So huge plays there by May sniping that resource collector. Well done. <laughs> totally missed that. Sorry, viewers. <laughs> Where did that happen? Near his own uh, base? Yeah, yeah, right. You can see the wreck uh, just in front of his HQ. The HQ from USA or Cartel? From USA. Ah, there it is. Hello. A bit too late, but you still see still the scavenge lying around. Scaffold, I mean, sorry. Hello! There it died. It all happens here. <laughs> in the meantime, however, we have Salami going for the bank in the north now. He got there before Maze, though. And Maze already built quite a bit of units <laughs> that are not Marines. So I think this full Marine army will win out against the Stingers as well as... Javelins or no, he has just has two stingers with them as well as four marines. I would have loved to see the recon team staying near the near the bank. I mean you can easily catch up some contractors. I mean now he will be too late simply because he plays his recon team doing nothing there. I think yeah. that's a pretty big mistake. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty unfortunate. He could have used that much more efficiently. We can actually see a Humphy coming out now with two marines so he's gonna try and poke the bear with some of those marines trying to capture some units hoping that salami has gone out all eco and has no defense in his base but we can see that there's already a vehicle bay coming up for salami so he will be well prepared if he gets out some of those automatics indeed but don't forget that there are already two strikers out three strikers out already yeah, this is this is a pretty pretty um, aggressive play. Aggressive play from Maze here. Um, just sticking to those two oil refineries and two um, aluminum. He's just building his fourth refinery now. That second aluminum. But yeah, when he sees the bank already taken, he's going to be feeling pretty disappointed because he's going to lose out on quite a bit of resources right now. He can't take that right now. No, he cannot. 
And even if you move those strikers in, I mean, then you show, hello, I have strikers, and you lose some HP, and I don't even think that three strikers can really clear out the building that fast. On, on, on some capture action going on, Salami is going to lose his refinery if he stuns and sell it. He does sell it in time. That Humphrey proving to be quite annoying, but he has a Viper there. Oh, taken down, but uh, does he have to sell another one? Uh, oh, just in time. Well, just, oh, he sold it. He sold it anyways. Wow, such value from Maze there. Salami losing his one and only aluminum refinery. This will put him back so much. I mean, he does have quite a bit of aluminum in his stock, but there's no income to that. And he's, he's losing his bank as well. Only three and three in it left, and he's, it's being captured. Yeah. Two left. Even gets a few prisoners Maze there. Wow, it's a good move. Yeah, but free interesting to see though that Salami has opted to go a bit tech heavy. He has, as soon as the flight vehicle bay or the the vehicles bay in general was done, he went for that prison upgrade so he can get those jackals out. He really feels like banks on this map is the way to go. So he's got those jackals out, and now he's gonna try and recapture it. But does he have vipers there? He does have two vipers in one of them. Does he have contractors in the other and? Four fibers, yeah, that's probably the right composition. It, it should work indeed. Well, I do think in general, without this specific match, that the banks should generate more income. Currently, yeah. the fights over banks are just, oh, okay, let's just take the bank, but they are not that important. I would have loved to see that they double the income from banks and make them so important that there is constantly fighting over banks. Oh, I think they should triple it, to be honest. Like 30 when you have 6 in there, just why not make it 100 when you have 6 in there? I think yeah. that will be uh, a little bit better. He takes that bank, however, uncontested though. Those jackals proving to be quite useful there. I would love to see him just go top though and deny his opponent the bank instead of taking the safe one. I oh, mean, but still, why would you contest the bank if you don't have... He has marines in it and he had vipers with him, so I think it's the correct way. No, but the jackals sniped the, the oh, yeah. out anyways. That's true. Maybe and you should have. This way, you're denying your opponent money because yeah. No well, I forgot fight. that the these are snipers. Yeah. I mean, driving snipers. Who ever heard of that? Well, if you played high treason. Oh, jeez! Um, so many uh, strikers. Yeah. Run, forest, run! They're so slow, like where you said. Oh, uh, now no. they're gonna get away. Oh, one, one got gets away. taken out. Yeah. But still, but still, it's good enough. I mean, he cleared the bank, denied a lot of income from there. Yeah. So I think it's worth it. see a little, some more of those jackals take down the top bank as well. Really yeah. focus on that. Well, he should move to there right now with this jackal that is left. Yeah. Automatics. One, two, three, four, five, six of them against... Oh, Maze is going to take the mid. All the money is mine. Yep. Is Maze tier two then, however? He is, he is, and he's getting the logistics center as well as the armory. So it'll be interesting to see if he opts to go for the um, base protection. Research. Oh, a super hand going here. He's going for some captures. Yep, some very nice tactics here from Salami. Yeah, nice timing as well. I mean, it's a bit luck that he just got here and it just got finished. I mean, yep. but luck makes the game. Will he sell oh my it? god, he did not no, sell it. Free income, it. thank you. Yeah. I wow. do like the new um, capture time. Yep, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's really good. And, and again, this early phalanx from Maze. Very nice. It does protect you against all kinds of drops though. It oh, a big battle going on in the middle. Air. Six against four. Oh my god, but they're in a row. One down. Two down. Yeah. Let the hunting begin. Oh my god. And they I don't have. Maze could have potentially lost the game here. I mean, a super hind above it. Two. S oh, no, one. The other one is a shadow. Exactly. But no task one yet, so Maze is in a bigger bit of a pickle now. One, two, three, four. Well, there are a few strikers coming, but... Mm -hmm. He has recaptured his bank, though, but I feel he's a bit behind, though. Yes. 
And is he using jackals? No, not yet. He's got one contractor coming in. I think he lost his jackal. Or did he? I'm not sure. I missed that. At the bank. Yeah, I think he did. did. There's a pilot standing there, so he probably lost it. Yep. And now we can see Tusk one for Maze. And he has six strikers, even as a blazer out. Yeah, just in time, man. <laughs> the blazer now providing so much damage and he keeps the blazer in a separate group and in the back well played by him right now look yeah. at this blazer taking down the chopper and the formation move keeping your blazer keeping your striker and jazz in a line so they all fire at the same time well played here by mace nice and micro indeed did he lose one i don't think he lost a striker no but look at two of them <laughs> One yep. has 3 HP left, the other one has 2. And he got 3 free pilots. Yeah, exactly, but he has the logistical Four. center though, so a Hercules might be coming out just to repair those two, and he'll be in a great position from this point on. Yeah, but still, Salami is out on the map more. So. Yeah, that's true, that's true. He, yeah, he still has that uh, refinery. He's actually producing uh, some trucks there, so he's gonna use that refinery to maybe mine out some of his resources there. Oh, I think Salami is going to lose the middle. Yep. You can see two blazes now. Can he get in range of that chopper? No, probably not. Nope. Get me the chopper! Oh, some more automatics coming in. He's gonna even try to defend that, I think. Will he get some blazes though? Nope, the blazes are too fast. And Maze is forced out of his own area again. Again, indeed. Well, I think Maze is slightly ahead. Maybe slightly, slightly. Um, Salami has map control. And if you have map control, you dictate the game. So, yeah. Maze has to win the next battle for the middle. For his own middle. I mean, the other side is just uncontested. He yeah. has to get his own middle, else it's pretty much done. And exactly. the bank has been cleared by now. Missed that as well, sorry again. But yep. the bank is cleared, so... I mean, Salami is taking the map. Yeah, yeah, he is. May still has that lone aluminum up in the north there, providing some resources to them. But right now, it's looking pretty grim for May. It's, you know, he's lost quite a bit of map control. You can see quite a bit of automatics built, still being rallied to that hillside on that plateau. And Hercules but is almost done though, so he will get two more tanks, or at least two repair tanks yeah, back. Yeah, exactly. I really hope for Salami to just tack up right now. You really need oh my God. to get some extra refineries and get those tech up. Because right now you're stuck on automatics. Why do you think he should get... He has map presence right now. He has the best positions. Do you think he should get the rest of the oil fields as well? Or maybe some more um, aluminium? Um, yeah, why not? Um, I think you're pretty safe right now. Um, the main thing is that Maze right now I think is scared. He doesn't he think Salami has a lot more than Salami actually has, so he's not gonna try and push in at this point in time. No. Well, I'm currently looking at the view from Salami. He does not know where the oil fields are. Yep. He simply does not know it. So therefore, it's hard for him to make a good guess about what he has to do. Yep. So he Some sh people going in, now we see Maze coming in now with that Hercules. But there's so many automatics here, and he has the high ground, and he opts to not send his units and die Well, there. it's 10 against 10, so the Tusk ones should win. Yeah, and we can see some more formation move there. With the Tusks going in, snipes down one immediately, snipes two feet, third, taken down one, and he's gonna lose all of his automatics right now. Uh, yeah. He's taken down two strikers, but we can see four, five, six, seven. Yeah, the repair is insane. I mean, the Hercules, he saved the day, man. I mean, how many units did he lose? Maybe two or three? Yeah, I think he lost three uh, three strikers there. And now he's gonna lose this, he even sells it off. But he's gonna lose the constructor anyway, providing Maze with yet another pilot. Look at all these pilots there. Yeah, well, I mean, this could be 
the moment that Salami lost momentum. I mean, if you look at his base, he does not have that many units anymore. Yeah, he has pretty much nothing, and if you look at Maze, he has the entire army and a lot of prisoners just captured, and he's taking the map. Where Salami, in the time he had map control, did not expand, he did not tech up. I yep, mean, exactly, and he has I mean, a hospital as well, so huge economy boost for Maze right now. And Salami was just it's just too late. He doesn't even have a prototype bay yet. He's just building it right now. Yeah, he's building it right now. It's almost done, but I fear it will be too late. I mean, can he can he hold this off? Well, this will be a very strong push. Remember that Salami did have those banks that he's been using quite effectively. So he has quite a bit of oil as well as those refineries. Oh, Mace is going to take the middle. But he's going to deny Salami's most important refinery right now. So if he can deny that, then Salami is now contained, just like Mace was a few minutes before. So we actually see quite a bit of a reversal here in this game right now. Yeah, but still, he has the bank. Banks, indeed. So, oil is not his main concern. I think aluminium is his main concern. Yep. And he's Even if you look at this projection, you see aluminium. There's a shortage of aluminium. Yeah, exactly. I'm not sure what what uh, Salami is trying to do with this small force. He has four automatics and a Scorpio. And a Super Hind. But he has a Super Hind filled with Shershin. So if he can land in a good position... The Shershin? Can, can you damage. explain what kind of unit that is? The Shershin is the same as the Cornet from Act of War. It's a anti-tank unit, okay. which consists of uh, two soldiers, just as the Grenadier is, and the mm -hmm. Mortar is, and it fires long-range anti-tank missiles. Okay, so it's basically the Grenadier for Cartel. Yes, exactly, exactly. But very good against uh, vehicles. And oh, will he lose his... Oh, he doesn't have his blazer here. And there we can see all oh, those Shershin doing some damage. Check them two immediately. Oh. Third going down. You can see they're super effective. <laughs> they are indeed. But can he snipe the Hercules? No, he doesn't even have to. He just snipes the... Wow, they are so strong, man. <laughs> yeah. They are very, very slow. But if you get them in range and you can actually use them, they will do some amazing damage, even as the upgrade form, which gives them another rocket tube, so they fly <laughs> two rockets per salvo. Jeez. And wow. Quite a turnaround again for Salami now. Yeah, I mean, he has some tanks again. It are those uh, Scorpios. Most of them, though. Some of them are automatics. And if you look at the base, yeah, well, there are a lot of Maze has a lot of units right now. Bringing in some ICVs, some anti-infantry units. Yeah, he's probably he's probably ahead on oil quite a bit. And he's even going for a third light vehicle base, so we can see a lot of strikers being produced right now. He has not been slacking on his macro during the all engagement. So interesting to see if Maze can actually pull through with this attack. Well, I think it will be extremely hard for Salami to... I mean, he has a good position. If he can fight near the bank, that would really favor him. But I don't think Maze will walk into that trap. I think he will pick a good location for him. Yeah, yeah. Right now, there's no reason for him to fight an uphill battle. Just drive straight into his main base and try and do as much damage as possible. If he can snipe the Tokamak reactor, it will explode like a nuke almost in this base and damage like all, all of the buildings in Salami space and it will all unpower all of his high-tech units so he won't be able to produce specters. So there will be a huge blow if he just does that instead of trying to capture these plateaus. Curious to see what will happen while well, this will be the fight of the game. Exactly. Salami sees what's going down. Well, it's nice that he plays useless units or units he does not u need anymore in positions to see what's going on. And he responds right away by sending units back, at least I hope so. Yeah, he does. Oh, he was on the other side of the map. But he has far less units. Yep, yep. Do you he think, well, what can Salami do to counter this? Well, he needs he needs, he needs a bit of, quite a bit of spectacles, but does he have ATGMs? I don't think so, no, I don't see any ATGMs for Maester, because he has so much, he has just so many of them. 
Yeah. If, he, if Salami can micro his spectres to perfection, keeping them out of range, and just have an extremely long range, then he might win this. But this is so much, and he loses. And Scorpio instantly he needs to micro it very well. Kite, 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 kite loses another. And here you can see the to great fruition has a couple of Shershendel as well, so that will be very nice. He needs to move in with those ICVs, take the Shershendel down, and you can see some nice kiting action here. He's actually losing quite a bit of units right now. He is. More than I would expect. But, oh, the micros fail. It's not. I move your Spectres. Oh, yeah. boy. Yeah. He should have moved them. Are those Spectres faster than this ones? Uh, no. They're no. not. Ah, okay. I think this is GG, man. I think yeah. it is. Yeah, it Prototype is. Bay almost going down. Yeah, he's focusing it down, he should. There you go, Tokamak. Now he needs to focus down the Tokamak reactor. Don't stand too close, though, or you blow your own units up. <laughs> but instead, he's focusing on the Stealth Lab. That's pretty weird. He, stealth Lab would just go down if he took down the Tokamak reactor. Yeah, I don't think he wants to take any risk by sacrificing his units. Oh, it goes down now. 60 health, 50, 40. Yeah. Give me oh the no, explosion. Those, those automatics, look, they're gonna be in range. As soon as oh, he close. just sold it. <laughs> oh, that is so close. So clutch by Slime there, but I don't think it's enough. He has some Scorpios doing crazy amount of damage. They are the glass cannons, after all. But losing your prototype bay, your barracks, your Tokamak reactor, and your style flap, as well as most of your collectors, I don't see Salami coming back from this. Oh, you it might will be really, case. really hard, pretty much impossible. And if you look at the main base of Maze, another about 8, 10 units are coming in again. And from the bottom, another, I don't even know, 20? <laughs> yeah. This Just is GG. A ton of strikers being produced right now. So many coming in. Salami spots it with another Viper, very well placed. But there we go. A surrender. Surrenders. We've got Three. a new king. Maze yeah. is the new king! Whoa, oh, clap your hands! Woohoo, Maze! Yeah, well played by him. Strikers proving yet again they are the bread and butter of this game right now. Well played by him. Some oh. nice recovery there. And yeah, some awesome games. Well, if you look at the income, it pretty much says it all. Maze yeah. had more income. Yeah, and therefore he could true. upgrade his strikers to Tusk 1 and win the game. Yeah, also if you look at the uh, the kills and losses, yeah. Maze was much more efficient. I mean, I definitely feel that with Cartel you should stop automatic production pretty early. As soon as the US hits DEFCON 2 and Task 1, they're not going to do anything unless he's building air. So you should, you basically should go be aggressive early in mid-game and from there stop entire production and tech up. Yeah, yeah. Transition into maybe some hind harass or a hind push, which I'd love to do, or uh, tech up all the way to um, Spectres because they are so good. All right. Well, Maze is the new king of the hill. AOA replays.com king. <laughs> if you want to challenge him, just go to AOA replays.com. Um, we will upload the replays and the video cast we did, just did as well. Um, we also have strategy guides replays, videos, etc, etc. Just visit AOA Replays for everything you need about Act of Aggression. Exactly. Anything more to add? No, I think, I think well, this is the first time we actually had uh, quite long games as well. If you were, each game took about 20 minutes, so some very uh, equally skilled players. I guess Salami finally found this match, and just congratulations to Maze. Yeah, congrats. King right. is dead, heal the new king. Exactly. <laughs> well, thank you all for watching. It's really appreciated. Uh, hope to see you next time. Yes. Alright. Bye bye, all. Right. See ya.